think my heart don't work. She been fucked up. I think I'm not All right. Excuse me, because I'm going to smoke. This is a cigar. It helps me with, you know, just whatever random shit, anxiety and stuff. I'm going to eventually stop, but don't lecture me. I want to talk about my experiences. Experience. You know, it's continuing, it's still going on. I'm still as an INTP male. I see a lot of different other personality types. They have all these videos and all these people are doing it. I see a lot of INTPs doing it too. And you guys are doing it in a pretty different creative way. I like that. So I just wanted to add my perspective and input because I know that the INTP community will watch it because we like looking at motherfucking talk and stuff. We like looking at all the different perspectives. We like doing this stuff because this is what we do. We research, we learn, we analyze, we critique, you know. I took this test about four or five times and the I got, I got a different result one time out of the five and that's because I was putting a bunch of like indifferent like you know a bunch of i don't knows and stuff and i was trying to multitask i was like playing a video game and then i was like i don't know i don't know yeah asking a bunch of dumb questions and i i kind of needed like i need to take my tests with somebody there so i can ask them like what do you mean by that what do you mean like is you know i like, guess the email the same as a text and i asked my girlfriend she's like no she didn't mean an email and i'm like okay i don't know how you be so sure but i guess i'll just run with that if that's what you believe maybe that's just what it is you know um okay my experience as an intp male i spend a lot of time by myself a lot like I'm, I'm, I'm in my apartment right now. People probably hear me talking and probably think this guy's being weird again because I talk to myself because I am my best friend. Nah, literally, no. I mean, I have best friends, but the friends that I have, I have, I've had for like years, like 12 years, you know, uh, 13 years. Like it's rare that I add a new friend because ooh, it takes me a while to adjust to people, and then like. I have to, even before I talk to somebody, I have to like analyze them as a person, see if they fit me, and what do they like to talk about? How do they carry themselves? But I'll get into that. So, I spent a lot of time by myself, just thinking and thinking and thinking and unwinding and escaping the world and analyzing the world from inside the house. Um, I do this a lot and then I'll play video games and then I read a bunch of articles and if I have an interesting book I'll read the book but I'll start reading the book and then I'll be like I already know what this book is going to say so that I'll stop halfway through and be like I already read that book I already know and then I'll go on YouTube and then I'll like get the summary from somebody else and then I'll be like I was right I know where they were going with this but good book author you know good job you know so that's mainly what I do, man. I like getting into stuff. And I just kind of got back into this whole, you know, my personality thing and cognitive functions and stuff. Um, just because I find myself in a lot of awkward situations, dealing with a lot of different personalities. Um, and I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> like, literally. Like, I mean, I, I have no problem with talking to girls. You know, some people think I'm kind of smooth, but I, if you were inside of my mind, seeing how I went through these processes, you would be like, yep, not talking to this guy. Um, I'm not like, I don't, I'm, I'm, I like just talking about random shit. Like, I'm not a small talker. And you know, as INTPs, like our feeling side is our weakness. So it's hard for me to like build connections with people. It's hard for me to like connect and bond and you know, all that stuff is ag it's exhausting to me because it, 
like I feel like this because based on the title you have with somebody you're almost forced to like care about what they're talking about but that might not be interesting to you and I don't really feel bad about that because I feel like people aren't interested in a lot of things that I want to say so why do I have to be interested and in, why do I have to fake it like why can't I just be myself all the time you know like <clears throat> seriously like it's that INTPs are chameleons you know, and this comes from, like, if I'll go to the store, me and my girlfriend, I go grocery shop, and we're in there and stuff, but I'm literally observing everybody in the store, and I'm just like, I look at everybody like a story, everybody has their own life story, and why they wear that, and that cool hair, you know, um, oh, cute couple, you know, cool shoes, and, like, I literally do this everywhere I go. Versus like even watching movies. I know that like movies aren't real, but at the same time somebody wrote it and that person's real and they pull that from their experiences or from someone they know. You know, the people in their lives have experiences that they know of. And I like learning from other people's experiences personally. Why I struggle through the situation when I can learn from what somebody else already went through from that, you know? And I draw all this stuff in and I make this whole theory about how I how to be in certain situations and <clears throat> it's funny so when I'm dealing with different personalities like oh this guy's super hype or um, this girl's so full of herself or like small talking yay I'm just like um, I have to adapt I have to adapt and adjust to my environment if I want to like be socially accepted it's not that I don't even care about being socially accepted it is just impossible as a human being to go through life and not know how to interact with other people if I could I would clone myself and spend my life with myself you know and I would talk to myself all the time I know that's absurd but you know it's ideal uh, and after like spending like three days in a row in a house, I'd probably like go somewhere and you know, I crave some human interaction, want some laughs and you know, get away from myself for some time and share all these new ideas I have with people and share all this cool stuff I just learned from four or five days in the house, looking at YouTube and different internet articles and looking at Reddit and writing down all these thoughts I have and just a little weird stuff, you know, and I'll get away and that's kind of how it goes I will be in the house a couple of days I'll go through different anxieties depressions and low self-esteem and then I'll get out and I'll be like oh yeah I'm restored you know um, then I don't want to see anybody for a couple of days and then it go again and up and down and up and down and I'm constantly battling myself to just stop it you know um, relationships I, I usually I'm very interested in like the mind of the person that I'm talking to. Like, there were a lot of girls that like, when I meet them, it's rare that somebody instantly likes me. They probably think I'm just some cool, nonchalant, mysterious, you know, very reserved type of guy, and they probably dig that, and then we're talking, and they're like, he's smart, he's t teaching me things that I don't have no clue, like, how, who knows this random type of information, you know? And they like it. Or some girls that I'll be like, oh, she's so awesome. And I've never talked to her. I've never approached her. I've never said anything to her. And I'll go through life and I'll just, you know, here and there, look on her Instagram and be like, I wonder what she's doing. She would have been so happy with me. I hope she's happy. But I was too chicken to say something, you know? That type of stuff. And I know I'm not the only one. I'm pretty sure that's an INTP thing. Sometimes I just enjoy the idea of something versus actually going through it and then losing it. And now it's never an, op never an option. I can't think about it no more. Now I'm thinking about how bad I screwed up or how awkward I am or <laughs> just different stuff. Sometimes I just like the idea of it being a uh, option, but never really exploring the option when it comes to people because i don't like burning bridges i don't like people not liking me you know i mean somebody doesn't like me for something dumb you know but i don't like the idea of somebody not liking me because i actually did something that i can't fix 
you know, um, but I usually like left a lot of relationships or just like, you know, the talking phase because I wasn't mentally stimulated. Like at some point physical attraction will go away when you're old and you're in the house and you're just talking about, you know, will of fortune and stuff like that and family feud and watching divorce court, you know, all that stuff is going to be out the way. Like you have to really have a connection with somebody and communication is a mental connection. I like to believe, you know, if I'm wrong, let me know, put a comment down if you think that I'm stupid. But um, yeah, that's just, and that's how it goes. I feel like a lot of girls are like, we're faking or they're trying to like be what I want them to be, but I want it to be natural. It should just flow. It should just flow. Don't force a connection, just let it happen. You know, if it's there, it's there. I don't like second guessing, I don't like I just don't like stuff like that, you know. Um, when it comes to like friendships, like I said, I've, I have, uh, I can count my friends on my hand. I have a lot of acquaintances that it's mutual, mutual respect, you know. But we don't really talk a lot like that, you know. So, as a guy, stereotypical guy, and stereotype for a reason, you know, the guy that wants to, you know, get all the cool shoes and talk, you know, talk about nice cars and try to get all the girls that he can. Yeah, not my scene. I, you know, I like to, I like, we let's talk about sports. Let's talk about statistics. Let's talk about um, different things. Let's talk about, you know, I like talking about girls, but I'm not necessarily going to be a player. You know, I'm not going to see, like, let's go see if we can get her emotions all wild, wild up. And let's see if we can, you know, get her to have sex with us. Like, no, nah, that's not really cool to me. Because I like, I don't really feel, but I would feel for her. Like, damn, that's messed up. Like, why? You know, so I, I kind of just keep my circle small because I don't like feeling like somebody expects me to be something else. Um, I don't like that expectation. So, um, I, I, I know a lot of guys probably think I'm like, what do you call it? Just arrogant. Like, you think he's too cool to kick it with us, you know? Because us INTPs, we are very chill. We're very chill, but we're chill thinkers. And we're, and we're chill because we think so much and we're all always in our head. So we're not really taking in too much around us unless we're observing everybody and that's when it affects us. So I don't really like being out of my head in an environment that gives me anxiety or like makes me feel like I can be myself, you know? Um, yeah, so that's that. When it comes to working, I have a problem with authority because people, authority figures, they feel like they're smarter than you or they feel like they're over you. They, they see the ladder as like a literal ladder and they see you underneath them, you know? And I think everybody's equal. I don't think anybody's smarter than anybody. You know, somebody can be uh, a standout calculus, you know, uh, nerd type, whatever you want to call it. like. But at the same time, you can get them talking about baseball, you know, and then be like, I don't know. So in that situation, they're kind of a moron. But, you know, to each their own. If you feel like calculus is more important than sports, and you know, me personally, I don't really use calculus on day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month basis. So I'd be like, yeah, that's cool, bro, you know, calculus. But it's kind of boring. It's kind of boring information. Where can I use calculus in a conversation unless I'm talking to an accountant or, you know, I don't even know if accountants use calculus. Like, um, like, I don't know. Like, you know, so... I, <laughs> I usually have to be um, the manager, you know what I'm saying, and control the environment, you know. Um, I usually have to be the person up top. Not not the fact that I want to be in control. It's just the fact that I don't want anybody, like, I don't want anyone controlling my mood or my energy. So I'd rather be the person in control of the energies and moods, you know. And if not that, then I'd rather work solo. Like, I write music, and then I get to the point where I was like, hey, I'm just going to produce my music also. Then I was like, hey, I should learn how to do this. So now I engineer my music. So now I'm going through the whole process of doing my music on my complete own without anybody giving me any input, anybody messing up my, you know, creative process, my thinking process. I'd rather just close the world out and just focus on what I think or how I feel because that is a creative outlet for me to go through my emotions when I'm creating music, you know. 
Um, let's see what else. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of different stuff I can say, but as far as this, I just kind of want to keep it short. I try not to make it too long. It might be long. I don't know, but um, yeah, I think that. If you like this, because as the INTPs, I know we're going to probably watch a lot of different videos on this and find somebody you relate with more. But then we want to keep watching them just to see other weird stuff people are saying about, you know, our community being INTPs. Um, so if you like this, like it. If you love it, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, leave a comment. If you think that this was cool, say it. If you think this was completely idiotic, then say that. Um, whatever you want to say, say something it's all relevant to me so thank you and let me know what you want to see next on a part two if you want me to say a little bit more about my experiences as intp or if you want me to say something specific like what personality types i like or don't like or how do i deal with the my whole introversion or how do i deal with anxiety or depression and things like that so thank you for watching